Let's work on an example problem where we're finding the missing pieces of owner's equity. So this is similar to exercise 1-11. So we're given some information here about Harrison Company. And we need to figure out our total owner's equity at the beginning of the year, and then find what was the additional investment that happened during the year. So let's first figure out our owner's equity at the start of the year. What do we have from the beginning of the year? Well, we're told our assets and our liabilities. By knowing those two pieces, we can figure out our owner's equity by plugging it into our accounting equation. So your assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So 200,000 equals 90,000 plus owner's equity, which gives us an owner's equity of 110,000, right? We subtract 90,000 from each side. So that's what we started the year with in our owner's equity. Now, we also need to figure out this additional investment. This one's gonna be a little bit more work. We need to think about what goes on an owner's equity statement. So, on an owner's equity statement, you start with your beginning capital, you add in your investments, you add in your net income, subtract out your drawings, and all of that will equal your ending capital. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to plug in the numbers that we know. At the beginning, that was 110. That's what we just solved for. Plus our investments, right? We don't know this investment amount. That's what we're looking for. Plus our net income. Well, your net income is revenues minus expenses. So your total revenues were 150,000 minus your total expenses of 90,000. And then we subtract our drawings. We're told that our drawings were 70,000. And that will all equal our ending capital, which is 120,000. So if we clean it up a bit, we find that our net income is 60,000, right? 150 minus 90. If we clean it up even more, we get 100,000 plus investments equals 120,000. Right, we took the 110 plus the 60 minus the 70 all over on the left side of the equation. So now we need to get investments by itself, right? So we want to subtract 100,000 from each side of the equation. And that tells us that our additional investment was $20,000.